What's going on guys? Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel and let's watch some cool videos. Pastor Robert Morris with Gateway Church. Huge church, mega ministry in Texas, I believe. Um, preached a sermon entitled, Don't Rob God. And this is very relevant to what's going on today whenever Clef Creflo Dollar came out and denounced the teaching, his own teaching about tithe. His own teaching of tithing, he has preached over years, over 30 years, and he has come to denounce it. He does not believe it anymore. And he has explained it there. You, can, you guys can uh, watch it. I have a video. Uh, Pastor Robert Morris, uh, with Gateway Church, he actually tries to put fear in people about tithing. And if you are not giving, you are cursed. If you get paid, you keep all the money, you, did, you don't take 10% to the church, then that is cursed money. And then you have not, God is not going to bless you because you have not given God the opportunity to bless you. So let's go to the video and let's talk about it. And you robbed me of the opportunity to bless them. And I didn't even relate it to Malachi 3. But what I realized from that moment on was that I don't give just because <coughs> I have resources. I give what God speaks. And I give what God speaks. So there are three opportunities of blessing that I see in Scripture. All right? Three. So you have to uh, pay attention to that. There are three opportunities that he sees in Scripture. Categories of opportunities. So here's the first one, tithes. I believe that when we tithe, we give God the opportunity to bless us. So if you don't tithe, God is not going to bless you. You are not creating opportunities for God to bless you. Uh, Joshua 6 We'll get to Mark 12 in a moment. Joshua 6 is when they're going into the promised land and it's the first city and it's Jericho. And, and this is what's difficult about Christianity and the scripture. Everybody is quoting the scripture, quoting the Bible and justifying their own thinking or theo theory or theology or belief about their opinion or point of view. It's even worse for those false prophets who said, God told me this. God told me to do this. Verses 18 and 19, it says, And you by all means abstain from the accursed things. I want you to notice this word cursed. It says accursed, same thing as cursed. Lest you become accursed. In other words, there'll be a curse on you when you take of the accursed things and make the camp of Israel a curse. I think he's trying to say there's a curse if you do this. And you trouble it, but all the silver and gold and vessels of bronze and iron are consecrated. Cursed, consecrated. Consecrated, that simply means set apart, set aside. To the house of the Lord, they shall come into the treasury of the Lord. Okay, he's referring to the tithe because they go to the house of the Lord. He's referring to the tithe because the tithe is always the first 10%, not the last 10%. It doesn't take faith to give the last 10%. It takes faith to give the first 10%. It also states that we put God first. It's the principle of first that I preached to you many times. The firstborn represents this. The first fruits represent this. Jesus is God's firstborn and he's God's first fruit. And so Jesus is God's tithe. He gave Jesus before we repented. He gave Jesus hoping that we would then come to him and let him bless us. So this is what the tithe is. So that's what he, he's saying here. He's saying, give me an opportunity to bless you. So it's Jericho because it was the first city in the promised land. And when they took of what belonged to God, they also took the opportunity away from God to bless them and they lost the next battle. You see, he's talking about all this before uh, the new teaching of the New Testament and all that stuff. He's talking about Jericho. He's talking about all these things. 
and and you want to plant the first 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 in your ma mind in fact he has preached a sermon about the about the first the principle of first it's called the principle of first okay uh first born uh first income first increase first of the year you know uh is one of those pastors who also preaches first fruits like Paula white every every beginning of the year in january you bring your income your first income to the church then the rest of it will be blessed but what he was saying was if you'll give me the first then i can it gives me an opportunity to bless you and you have that opportunity every time you get paid are you listen to that you give me an opportunity to get blessed and every time you have an opportunity so if you don't have a job what are you gonna do like i have my garden here in the backyard i can bring some to church uh, i don't think that is what they're gonna accept they're gonna accept the money right so if you don't have a job then you, you and you're not able to give the tithe because you don't have that income then you don't have opportunity for God to bless you. Going to give God the opportunity to bless the 90%. And you need to hear something. I know this is strong. It's consecrated when it's brought to the house of the Lord. And it's cursed if it stays in your tent. Did you hear that? It's consecrated, set apart, blessed when it's brought into the house of God when you bring your money to the house of God and then it's cursed when you leave it in your tent, when you leave it in your house, when you decide to spend it all without taking the 10%. And that's what happened to Adrian. Um, years ago, I was preaching on the tithe and there was a single mom in our church that said, you know, I just began getting convicted even though I have limited income and single parent so Pastor Morris is very good at delivery. Uh, there are some of the teachings he has done are good, but I don't believe what he's teaching on this video about tithe, tithing. He likes also bringing stories and, and, and you know, in, in Bible school, that's what they teach you. Uh, you, you bring up you, illustrations, which can be in form of a story, just in form of a testimony, right? And that's what he's doing in this segment now about this, who got him convicted, convicted by obviously this kind of teaching and he started giving. And then he gives example how he started getting blessed and there. This is one example. And if you're listening to that, you would think like everybody who's going to follow, it's going to happen like this. It's not, it's not, it's not going to happen like that. So guys, let me know, uh, tell me what you guys think, but uh, that's, that's, that's what's going on. Uh, there is a, a revolution and people now, pastors are preaching against each other. It's like, we believe in tithe. We don't believe in tithe. You know, you know, and, and there's a lot of confusion. Creflo Dollar, kudos to him for bringing this to the forefront that we can have a discussion about it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload the video. And obviously leave a comment. Uh, we're gonna talk about it here. We talk about, we comment here. We talk about stuff um, on this channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.